Hello guys, in this video we're going to create uh, an uh, app onboarding screen uh, in uh, Adobe XD. So I just opened Adobe XD and uh, I'm going to select uh, the iPhone. So I'm going on this drop down and uh, I'm going for the regular one. So just double click on it. And uh, as you can see, the artwork is now uh, already created. So the first thing that uh, I'm going to do is to create the main headline. So So this is going to be the main headline of uh, the onboarding and uh, let's make this one just a little bit bigger over here and uh, I'm going to use the font uh, uh, called uh, Roboto for uh, the specific uh, uh, screen. So here we go, let's make this uh, boundaries just a little bit smaller and uh, the text a little bit more dark okay that's great so uh, below this I'm going to also add the three dots uh, which uh, are going to serve us for the uh, navigation and uh, this is are going to represent the steps of the onboarding and by the way I duplicated these uh, dots uh, by simply clicking uh, um, with the mouse and uh, then pressing alt and if you do so, uh, it will create a duplicate of uh, the object. So let's move them right over here. And uh, let's select the first one and uh, give it a color of uh, blue. Uh, maybe you want to make it a little bit more light. Just a touch. Okay, it's great. And I'm also going to remove the border, which I can do so by clicking on the checkbox. And uh, in this one, I am going to make the borders um, right on the center. So basically, as you can see here, there are these options uh, in order to locate the borders. The first one is going to be an inner stroke. Um, so it's going to be on the most uh, inner part of the dots the second and uh, as you can see over here the second one is the external part of the um, of the stroke and uh, this one is going to be right on the center so i'm just gonna make it them a little bit bigger than the other ones but usually i, I, I will go like this with the inner stroke so yeah let's make the border just a little bit lighter and uh, Let's go for it then similar to this one. Okay, this is a good start. And uh, now I'm going to add a call to action. And uh, I'm going to do so by using the rectangle tool on the very left. And uh, I'm going to create uh, the main button. And uh, I'm also going to give it, uh, yeah, let's say, I think I'm going to give it a fill in this case and uh, I wanted to make it of the same blue color of uh, this dot. So what I'm going to do is going to um, pick it with the uh, color picker. And as you can see, I can easily go ahead and uh, pick the exact same color. And uh, I'm also going to center this uh, compared to the artboard. So I'm going to click over here. And as you can see now, this uh, uh, button uh, box is centered and uh, let's create some uh, text inside of it um, so I just created the oops okay let's redo that and let's write continue okay let's make this uh, white and uh, I'm going to uh, also make it uh, all caps because I think it's going to be a little bit better. So just like this. The size we're going to, to make it smaller. Um, the initial box was a little bit overkill for what it's, it's 
purpose so let's make this just a little bit smaller just like this okay maybe a little bit more wide I mean it really depends on the style uh, by which you're uh, you're working on there are multiple different types of buttons and uh, yeah there's, there's a lot that uh, you can do over here and uh, let's center these dots just a little bit over here and now we're going to grab uh, an uh, image and uh, in this case i'm going to jump on uh, the website called uh, unsplash and uh, over here we can uh, select uh, an image we can, which can be used for uh, this uh, onboarding so i'm not really sure about the exact uh, image so i'm just gonna find one that uh, i like it over here and uh, we can uh, literally just uh, go from there so as you scroll you can see that uh, unsplash has also a collections option and uh, here you can see a lot of boards which are uh, uh, similar to the pinterest feeling and uh, over here you can uh, really see a lot of, of different uh, and very interesting boards um, which uh, are based on uh, different moods so i think i'm going to try this one out uh, since it's very clean it's just a uh, macbook uh, perspective uh, photo so i'm going to open it up over here and uh, let's just uh, grab the image and okay so let's grab this image and uh, i copied it and uh, i'm in the artboard now let's copy it Ooh, this is a very big one so let's scale it down and the way that i'm scaling it uh, it's uh, by holding uh, the alt and um, yeah this is pretty good i think this is going to be an onboarding for a tech related uh, company and uh, so yeah this, the mood is quite uh, spot on so i'm also going to add this uh, step text of just above and uh, let's make it just a little bit uh, lighter since i want the main emphasis to be on uh, the headline themselves so this is uh, it's pretty much it it's a center now let's make the text just a little bit more centered and uh, yeah i mean here we have uh, uh this uh, first uh, onboarding screen and uh, then we could do ma many more uh directly from here so i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and um, if you have any questions regarding adobe xd or ui ux design feel free to leave a comment below and uh, i will try try to get back to you and uh, help you out so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video